Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us here for the 2024 Free Agent Rookie Draft. 2024 plans to be a great season, and listen to this crowd down here in Aruba. <laughs> And we'll waste very little time. It looks like the Bandits are ready to reveal the number one pick. Good evening. I am here to reveal the first overall pick in the 2024 BBWO draft. With the first pick in 2024 BBWL Draft, the West Ham Lake Bandits select Eric Brown. Although this might come as a surprise to many, the Bandits had Brown in their sights right from the very beginning. Many had Timmy Koval going number one overall. But Eric Brown, the 2021 BBWL East MVP, is just who the Bandits wanted. He can swing it. Guy has an electric bat. And the one thing that is a huge selling point for the Bandits is he knows how to control a clubhouse. He's an easygoing guy, really gets his teammates fired up. And let's face it, the guy can flat out play. The Bandits run a small risk here. Brown is said to be currently hurt and recovering from shoulder surgery. But the doctors say he's going to be just fine and expect him in his arm to return to the 2021 form oh, where he dominated Welcome. pitchers with an electric fastball and a sinker drop curve that is just about impossible to hit as noted here putting down what was the 2021 <laughs> BBWL champion Grafton Lake Sharks Brown can sling it and it's going to be a huge asset to the Bandits on to pick number two With the second pick in the 2024 BBWL Draft, the Wine and Skill Vipers select Timofey Koval, a stud out of Averill Park. We feel as if Timofey is going to put us over the edge and get us to a BBWL championship this year. So come to find out, Tim Koval has close ties to some of the Vipers players, and that makes perfect sense because the Wine and Skill Vipers traded up to the two spot knowing that they might potentially have a chance at a big arm, but I'm sure they're even more excited now that they landed Timmy Koval. Timmy features an electric fastball and was just about unhittable in the NTR 2023 fall tournament. Accuracy and consistency are two things that scouts say he has begun to become very good at and will make him a dominant arm in 2024. Don't forget the Wine and Skill Vipers already have Jared Lee, who only has one loss in his career in the BBWL and dominated as the Cy Young last year. The Vipers, however, were upset in the playoffs by the Green Island Grizzlies. So adding Koval will certainly bring them one step closer to a BBWL championship. They are win ready now and Koval does not plan on losing. Along with his fastball and his presence on the mound, he can also swing it. He launched several balls up and over the fence during the NTR tournament. And the Vipers Nation is excited to land Koval. On to pick number three. With the third pick in the 2024 BBWL draft, the Nassau Knights select Connor King, GOAT. So this could arguably be one of the smartest picks in the draft. The Knights in the offseason landed Steve Koval, last year's BBWL MVP. And he needed some backup, and he's going to get a defensive stopper. Connor King was lights out defensively in the NTR tournament. He also got on the mound, shut down a couple of hitters. And oh, and by the way, hit a long ball 
big, strong guy, going to be a huge asset to the Nassau Knights. On to pick number four. With the fourth overall pick in the 2023 BBWL draft, the Brunswick Bog the Eagles select James Consula. You know, we really think, you know, he's a he's an overall player. You know, he, he you know, can pitch. He can hit a little bit. You know, we kind of need to bring that to the team. You know, who doesn't want a guy who can do everything? You know, we need a couple arms. Uh, we feel like he really rounds out our rotation. You know, will it? You know, Cam Carter pitches a little bit. Now we had Consula in the mix, and there we go. That's uh, that's three three guys for three games. So really excited to have them. And uh, let's just talk about what they're doing over there in Green Island because uh, the Grizzlies have zero picks, zero. What are they doing? So many people are surprised here that Consula fell all the way to the four spot. Just see here, the rising heater is just about unhittable when he was in the zone during the NTR tournament. Teams had no shot at hitting it, and that's just what the Eagles needed. They picked up Willett last year in the first overall pick, and now this year they add Consula to beef up their pitching rotation, and Consula will do just that. But the one thing he also does is swing it. Probably the most complete player in this year's BBWL draft. Many had him going first overall. He slides to the four spot. And the Brunswick Bald Eagles got to be pretty pumped about that. Consula, no doubt, a chance to come in and make some serious impact in Brunswick. Oh, yeah. On to pick number five. With the fifth pick in the BBWL 2024 draft, the Troy Battlehawks are going to have to select Johnny Pamber. We've seen this man's hits. We've seen the fastballs, his speed. It's ridiculous. I don't know what the rest of the league is going to do to prepare for this, but get ready right now. Start training. And the Battle Hawks finally address one of their big needs, an arm. Hember can also swing it. His patience at the plate makes him a tremendous asset in the BBWL, where many of us know several players on several teams struggle to throw strikes. Ember, a clutch performer and a winner to add to the Battle Hawks, who have been close each and every year. 2022, they got beat in the BBWL Championship. Last year, cut a little short. Many questioned Blake Weekert's workout regimen, his offseason plans. He came back in 2023 and was not as strong as he has been in years past. There we see Pember striking out Colligan, one of his soon-to-be teammates. Pember can get outs on the hill, and again, his patience at the dish are going to go a long way in the BBWL. On to pick number six. This just in. With the sixth pick in the 2023 BBWL draft, Pose and Kill River Monstars select Jack Behan. This is a good pick for the Monstars as they look to provide more consistency on the mound and add another bat to an already stacked lineup. With another pick coming soon, the Monstars look to add more talent to their roster for the 2024 season. It's amazing to think the Monstars can land this kind of talent with the sixth overall pick, Jack Behan, not just a stud on the field, but I think you'll see him be one of the most committed players in the BBWL showing up to games and being committed a big part of the league for some teams it's not always easy getting everybody there jack's a guy that wants to play and wants to compete he can throw strikes that's huge in this game he will put it there and force teams to put it in play he can also feel this position very very well he's played in several ntr tournaments knows the rules well and will be a huge pickup for the monsters on to pick number seven. And the pick is in. With the seventh pick of the 2023 BBWL draft, the Post and Kill River Monsters select Tim Thomas, a big right-handed power bat out of Avril Park. Thomas will look to add to both home run and the RBI categories for the River Monsters this year. Welcome, Tim Thomas. Wow. An already high-powered offense Post and Kill River Monstar is going to add Tim Thomas as well. He hit six home runs in the NCR tournament. 
which is just incredible considering some of the arms he faced one of his home runs off of Stephen Colville, this year's 2023 MVP. Just a strong dude. Not afraid to hit it to all fields, and he's got a quick bat, so he should fare well against some of the faster, more dominating pitchers in the league. But his consistency over the last several years in NTR tournaments, launching the deep ball has been fun to watch. It's very difficult to win the Silver Slugger Award in the BBWL, but I wouldn't be surprised if a guy like Tim Thomas earns that award very soon. I know the Monsters are pleased. On to pick number eight. In the eighth pick of the 2024 BBWL Draft, the Nassau Knights select Connor Tompkins. We're hoping for somebody who we can put in the five hole who will bring a lot of runs and a lot of energy to our team. A very solid late round pick here for the Nassau Knights. They were absolutely disastrous late in games. And a big strong guy and a big strong bat like Connor Tompkins, as you see here, hits the ball so hard. The fielders can't even manage to look it in. But the Knights were abysmal down the stretch, late in games trying to close things out. And many say that Tompkins is a dugout guy, can help hold things together for the team late and hopefully come up with some big hits and some big RBIs to help them win and get a step closer to a BBWL championship. And we seem to have lost power here as we approach the final pick of the evening and the Taberton Mountain Bulls, who typically bring some interesting picks to the table. Let's, let's see what they have here. Message from Frank Orsioli. I need you to send me a video. Who did we select? Jack, 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 come here. We have some BBWL news. Who did the Bulls pick? For the ninth pick in the BBWL league, the Taberton Mountain Bulls pick Chris Kent. Wait, wait, what do we even know about him? Where did he go to medical school? He went to Northwestern and Johns Hopkins. Is that good enough for you? No, it's not. Well, Frank. Brandon, those are very prestigious schools. You don't know anyone named Dylan Johnny Arkin. Hopkins. It was Johnny it was Dylan Hopkins Arkin and, and Greg Hotel. Andy has a really nice smile. Now let's send it over to Mel. We'll find out just exactly what he's been hearing about potential Bulls draft pick Chris Kennedy. Todd, 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 Todd. I'm going to send it right down to production. You will learn what I have learned about the meteoric rise of Chris Kennedy to potential first round draft pick of the Taberton Mountain Bulls. He she was not. She was smooching with your brother. You was there. And you were smooching with my brother. That's a dirty word. See? Hi, Johnny. Don't give me that. You've been smooching with everybody. Frankie, Greg, Dale, Justin, Leo, Fergie, Little, little Larkin with a gimpy man. arm. Jeez. Mike, Bony Brett, Brad, Monk. Cliff. And there you have it, just a quick view in the GM Mike Phil's thought process of his draft board. And there you have it. Without much ado, the Bulls select the man who smooched his way into our hearts, Topher Kennedy. Welcome home, Chris. Welcome home. Yeah, I'd say we're pretty much all just about lost on what just happened right there. But nonetheless, it looks like the Taberton Mountain Bulls know just about as much about Chris Kennedy as the league does. But hey, last year, the last pick was an all-star. So if history repeats itself, then the Taberton Mountain Bulls will get themselves one step closer to a BBWL championship. Thanks for joining us this year on the 2024 Player Free Agent Rookie Draft. We'll see you in 2024.